He shoots, he scores. It did it. It did it. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hockey movies. Let's play hockey. For this list, we're choosing the best live action movies that put hockey on center ice. There's no smoking on the ice surface, it's a public place. Whether it's about the sport's history, a commentary, or just some cool on-ice action. Buddy shoots and scores! We're excluding animated films and documentaries. Though docudramas, which are dramatized reenactments of real-life events, are okay. Now, let's lace up. All right, square off. Keep your sticks down on the ice. Number 10. Sticks and Stones. You're screaming me. Get out of the way. When you think of Canadian stereotypes, hockey and politeness are two things that come to mind. Good game, guys. Yeah! In this family-friendly flick, a Canadian peewee hockey team wants to make up for a bad experience that an American team had previously endured while in the True North Strong and Free for a tournament. Hey, what's going on? Get us out of here! I can't move! As a result, the Friendship 2004 hockey tournament is organized and the Brockton boxers are successfully convinced to return to Canada to play. Boxers! 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 Of course, things don't go as smoothly as the Fredericton Canadians planned, but that's exactly what makes this story of friendship and hockey worth watching. The team talked it over and made a decision. No one wants to go back to Canada. You have to. Number 9. D2, The Mighty Ducks. Gordon Bombay makes the move to the national stage as he steps behind the bench for Team USA. The sequel to the 1992 sports comedy brings back some familiar ducks and drafts a few new faces to the roster. That's Luis Mendoza. He's from our Miami club. A real speedster. Incredible skater. Following a devastating injury in the minor leagues, Gordon Bombay begins coaching Team USA for the Junior Goodwill Games. You're throwing him out? I, you, you can't do that! It's three seconds into the game! Despite talented players, the hockey team starts to slip when the coach loses track of his priorities. But thanks to several well-intentioned interveners, Bombay remembers why he loved the game and helps the Ducks to victory. All I want is another chance. Just one more shot. I'm back. Okay? Inspiring and critically successful, D2 will have you waving your flags and quacking along. Number 8. The Rocket. The legend of Rocket Richard. Maurice Richard. Yes. The Montreal Canadiens have one of, if not the greatest NHL legacy. And the championship banners hanging from the rafters are there to prove it. Possibly no player in the team's history has left a mark quite like Maurice Richard, otherwise known as the Rocket. If these strong players check me, I should be good. Pareil. Coming out of blue collar Quebec, the Rocket helped establish the team as the best in the league. He dominated when helmets and massive paychecks were still distant thoughts. This is a look back at hockey in its purest form, and at a man who shaped it with speed and goals rather than hard hits and fights. Long live the Rocket. <laughs> Number 7. Les Boys. Oh, well, let's go, les boys. It's not game as well. Let's go. Barreling out of hockey crazed Quebec comes a movie about a small time team trying to make a decent buck. Qui a scoré les trois buts du Canadien en finale de 71 contre Chicago, septième game, Jacques Lemaire, Henri Richard, Henri Richard. The comedy on offer is witty, hilarious, and instantly quotable, with the best moments coming off the ice in the players' room. Et toi, ton nègre ligue de garage, ça? Mon club, c'est pas n'importe quel club, OK? Quand t'acceptes de jouer pour mes boys, faut que t'ailles le pas quatre ways sur le cœur. It's a reminder of how much fun the sport of hockey is when you're playing with a good group. An eclectic group, sure, but one we wouldn't mind lining up with in the big game. And that's precisely why Les Boys was followed by three sequels so far and is the Canadian province's most successful movie franchise to date. Number six, Youngblood. Dean Youngblood. Starting on the frozen pond and going on to play in the big leagues, the on-ice action in this flick is at times both reminiscent of past hockey players and authentic to current ones. Way to go, young blood! 
but it's young Dean Youngblood's story that hits home the hardest here, as he goes from being a great scorer to someone who has to toughen up and learn to hit and fight. What do you think, Marie? Well, he fights like an old lady. Hockey has many elements, and while no one is expected to be perfect at all of them, to be a pro, you have to know a bit of everything, including the grimier bits. <laughs> Hockey really is a tough sport, but we love every minute of it. Hey, Hannah, eat this! That's a match! Get the animal out of here! Number 5. Mystery Alaska. On pure skating ability, the boys of Mystery Alaska rival any team in the National Hockey League! Yeah! Many towns dream of having a hockey team, and the frozen streams of Alaska would certainly be a great home for any professional puck-toting club. As mayor of Mystery Alaska, I'm going to extend a little invitation to the New York Rangers! Yeah! While they may have the players and a rink, it's when the town has to prove themselves against the NHL's New York Rangers that they have to step up their game. Bidding the New York Rangers against a Cinderella team from the tiny town of Mystery, Alaska. The on-ice action is superb, as is the team practicing for the game. I've had a chance to see the Mystery team practice. They skate fast, and a couple of guys can really shoot the puck. This comedy drama is a great underdog story, and seeing the Rangers take to the ice on the big screen is pretty cool, too. Wins a pass on the take to Laviolette. Number four, Goon. But I am a hockey player, sir. You're a fucking goon. Co-written by hockey fan Jay Baruchel and starring Sean William Scott, this sports comedy drama showcases some incredible on-ice action. Johnson gets it over. Here's the shot. He scores! Rising through the ranks in the world of hockey because you're good at fighting certainly isn't a new topic in hockey talk. But here, it's done in such an over-the-top and violent way that it makes you wonder why fighting has become so important to such a graceful sport. Oh, doctor! What a day! However, in this Canadian-American production, a bloody tooth flying out of a guy's mouth to classical music is an example of the gory side of hockey and also a love letter to the sport and the enforcers that are a part of it. Is it any wonder that a sequel's currently in the works? Good fight, man. Good fight. He's a nice guy. Number three, The Mighty Ducks. I'm Gordon Bombay. I'm the new coach. <laughs> the first hockey movie for many of today's would-be NHLers. This tale of a lawyer forced to lead a ragtag group of youngsters to hockey success is the best family-friendly rendition of the sport. Quack, 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 quack. No! From practice sessions involving tying the goalie to the post to the big game when the team finally gels together. It's a flying beat. This sports comedy is a great look into the development of a hockey team and what it takes for them to succeed. <laughs> Number two, Miracle. Yeah, you're damn right, sweet! <laughs> A look back on the USA's greatest hockey moment, in which they beat the unstoppable Soviet team and go on to win gold at the 1980 Winter Olympics, is a testament to the history of the sport and what it means to millions of people. US team in white, skating up the center ice. The Soviet Union in red. All business. While the docudrama's on-ice action is excellent, and Kurt Russell's pre-game speech sends us out with skates flying. This is your time. Their time is done. It's over. It's the grand story of one team overcoming the odds that proves hockey is much more than just hitting a puck around. Five seconds left in the game. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Teddy, I'm counting on you to teach these bums how to win. Hey. Number one, Slapshot. You guys are handsome. The machine took my quarter. 
This classic hockey movie has stood the test of time with its witty comedy and brutal on ice action. But Dave was here. Dave's the killer! Yeah, yeah. Killer. Dave's a killer. Dave's a mess. The Fighting Hansons are still the greatest fictional hockey characters to ever grace the screen with their hard hits. And the comedy's play on hockey stereotypes, from the French Canadian to the Enforcer, remains hilarious today. Bring the kids! We got entertainment for the whole family. <laughs> Sure, the NHL's renewed focus on eliminating violence isn't in keeping with the flick's message that brutality is necessary for a team to succeed, but Slapshot remains a great look back on the sport's violent past with some beautiful hockey plays. Uh, what is high sticking? High sticking happen when uh, the guy take the stick, you know, and he go like that. You know, you don't do that. You don't do that. Oh no, never, never. It's still the best movie about hockey players to watch with fellow players and fans alike which is why it gets the number one spot. You got my eye on the three of you guys. You put one thing, you're out of this game. Now I run a clean game here. I have any trouble, I'll suspend you. I'm looking at a song. Do you agree with our list? You don't got dinky do. What's your favorite hockey movie? Damn it! Is that goal regulation size or what? Jeez! For more hard-hitting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Excuse me, guys. You got to me now. <laughs> Good job. I like it. No joke, come on guys. Hey coach, coach, come on, don't leave me hanging like this.